you disappointed with Euro 2012? Ah well, at least we can always cuddle up with a memory from 88. And we have the bestest footy fans in the whole wide world, aren't we just greaty great? Now that's playful rhyme, not meant as a smarmy snipe. Listening to that green army gave me goosebumps on the inside. You'll never beat the fields of Attenroy. It's just a pity that the demand of the land never met the supply. The Croatian encounter, that was our wind shakes the bar loy. Still panting, post anthem and we conceded far too early. On 19 minutes though, Sean St. Legend levelled Ledge-esque. But little did we know that our roar at that score was to be our sole mo moment of slow-mo majest. <coughs> too soon thereafter, we lost the front foot and we went on the back heel. From about the 30th minute on I would gladly have taken the rest half time with ill. But I should have seen the doom of the gloom coming when we went and we yes yes stood up to Bruss ill. But I said feck it, went mecca and loafed on like an imbecile. Two one down at the break and I'm hoping Trap will make a change. A lack, no sub, was his team talk wrongly dubbed. Strange how at the start of the second we were even worse than in the first. Well, in a few hundred horrible seconds, their Euro bubble burst. And I take full responsibility. I put on some kind of course on everyone I name dropped when I hippie hopped that first Euro verse. I pray the Premier game, Skako Ibrahim was our Robbie. Drop him, chop him, proclaimed the pundit Nobby. Allow me for a second now to go off on a raven inko, but shouldn't we shape our team around Kino like Ukraine and Shevchenko? Like, play to our strengths, play Duffer on the left wing. Come on, you Giovanni, putting him at wide right is a narrow minded daft thing. And Doyler, the Keva, a possible futuristic pseudo Sheva. I'd love to see him and Long and McCarthy and McLean and Coleman and Houlihan all play together. And McGeedicus, Goodicus, Jesus, is he a prawn sandwich short of a picnic? And John of the Shea and the, the give of the Shea didn't come across to me as being fully match fit. And Dickie, Dickie didn't do a poly Mac, though having said that, few can tread water. And the Glenny of the Glen Wheela didn't do a wee bunny runny here, was one of the first up to be slaughtered. And Spain, Spain, we not wordy, we not wordy. 1003 completed passes against us is totally absurdy. Iniesta, Alonso, Flabbergast, Xavi, De Silva, etc. Ole, Ode, Fernando, Torres up and Harvey. They gave us an exhibition in how the game could be, should be played, both with and without the ball, I'm afraid. And we could have prehydrated with a gazillion gallons of flucoside, but chasing that amount of shadows, we was always, always going to mentally and physically fail. We was uh, kind of uh, teached to, outclassed. We was outbossed, outcrossed, outshot and outpassed. And there was moments when I watched Pirlo and my mouth just mouth gasped. It was a joy to see him play the way he picks out pass. Yeah, finally up against Italy. Little Britain, we only had sporadic, sarcastic cheer. We clung along for a sing-along with over-the-top sad drastic beer. In the stadium the fans sang strong, though they knew that the end was near and when Italy scored, that was it floored. Hope disappeared. For the first and second matches, the tabloid dispatches were all about believing. But for the tour the word was pride as we knew that soon we would be leaving. Although at the end of the law all some had in their jaw was hit him, break his bleeding leg. Meanwhile, back at the ranch, Bally on the telly scores a spectacular overhead. Now, I've overheard many people calling for the manager's head. And once Mess and I said, put Shergar's skull into his bed. We uh, paid a handsome mare pensioner off with a substantial packet, or we force him out with a trumped up Al Capone moonshine racket. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm grateful that Trap and Tard has got us to Euro 2012 and I'm not being nasty, but ciao grazie, our game needs to evolve. 
Uh, with all due respect, I suspect Senor uh, Trapatoni should be on the golf course or buying the Bamboni a Bellissimo pony. It's time to not spank him, but tank him and then send him off the pasture and then we should move on with a man Roy keen enough to take us into a long-term bright future. I mean, the game in Spain is simple to explain. It goes back uh, 40 years ago to a match scratched deep into my brain. In España 82, Norn Norn beat the Spanish in Madrid. Embarrassed them footballingly, that's what Billy Bingham boys did. Now fast forward three decades of the rosary later and see how they've benefited from overhauling their footballing infrastructure. <sighs> what, well, is this a footballing lecture? I think uh, I'm in here a little bit too deep. It's time for some stat crack to read and then the nine against one four. That's the goals, that's the score. Beaten twice in Poznan because possession was a chore and we were murdered on the Gdansk floor. Oh, that headline will go down in footy folklore. Yeah, we were well and truly Gdansk in Gdansk. And they even got a better bailout deal with the banks and we can't even blame this fiasco on the Yanks. Oh, low, low, the fields of Attenroy. Thanks.